So someone with TMAU2, which is probably every single one of you, or TMA overload, which is probably every single one of you, is generating too much TMA by their gut floor. So you've got too much TMA in your gut. So when it goes to your liver, it bottlenecks. And only so much can be processed because you have the FMO3 enzyme. TMA is an organic compound that has a strong odor. TMA overload is a nitrogen buildup of either a deficiency of FMO3, which is not probable because you have the FMO3 enzyme, or a gut microbial imbalance, which is definitely what's happening. Certain strands of probiotics can metabolize and use the TMA nitrogen buildup as nutrients. This process helps to eliminate the source of the odor. They are lactobacillus, bifidobacterium, and thermomophilus, which is in kefir. Kefir is strong enough to establish new colonies inside of your large intestine to neutralize the TMA. They work by regulating the buildup of odors and the nitrogen way, the way the nitrogen waste feeds the three probiotics found in kefir. The three I, I, uh, I said. I'll put it in uh, the description. And the microbes from kefir, those three microbes like the bacillus, bifidobacterium longum, and thermophilus, then eliminate the TMA from the body through normal excretion. So there will be no more TMA surplus, TMA overload, and that is how you win the gut war. But all of this is just advice. But this is what I did to win the gut war.